Well, hey folks, BC7 here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Farm Sim 22 and No Man's Land. Yes, indeed. So I uh, discovered something when I went to return our uh, fine piece of gear that we leased there last episode. And that was that uh, I had another piece of gear that we've had leased for I'm not sure how long now <laughs> that I hadn't returned and that was the uh, fertilizer sprayer for the orchard we didn't actually buy that we only leased it and it's been sitting there at $675 a day in our little shed for I don't know how long at all not a clue how long it's been there oh uh, well we'll uh We'll get it sorted out here one of these days. Do hope everybody's doing absolutely awesome. It is the 5th of May, but I'm not sure how long that'll be a thing. Because I don't think anything really comes due to do. Know what I mean? Well, we'll have our usual. An awful lot of those look green, don't they? Hmm. Well, I guess that's just the leaves on the top. I'm thinking, geez. Are we selling them unripe strawberries? Figuring they'll ripen in people's fridges or what? Because I'm not a fan of that. I mean, I can understand with bananas. They ripen in like nine minutes. But, uh, really? You're going to do that, are you? Really? You're going to continue to do that, are you? There you are. You're still wrong, though, isn't it? There you are. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. No, lettuce, too? Wow. Hey. We're just Mr. Special today, I'm telling you. Indeed. Lettuce is not accepted. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> yeah, lettuce isn't accepted here either. I mean, I like when I'm having a sandwich, although most of the things I would have eaten it on, I can't eat anymore or don't eat anymore. Um, but yeah, if I have a sandwich, like a cheese sandwich or, a, you know, a meat sandwich, bologna or whatever, um... I certainly do like a bit of green on it, that's for sure. That just is not going to get into that corner for me, is it? But I, I usually put sprouts on, as opposed to lettuce. You know, as far as I know, the only real use for lettuce is uh, if you need to keep something on a sandwich that's wet away from the bread. You know, like, yeah, it makes a good moisture shield, probably because it's like 99% water anyway. So, yeah, it's not, uh, not, uh, hard-pressed to work as a water barrier. There you go. Okay, I believe we have one more box of tomatoes, do we? We up. There it is. Oh. Can we not? Oh yeah, we can go in here. Whoa. Apparently we can get slammed in the face with... Well, I thought it was the greenhouses I heard, but... Don't hear it out here. Hmm. Yeah, look at this. They be graping. Well, grape leaving anyway. And although I'm fairly sure grape leaves have their uses, I don't think they're anywhere near as useful as the actual grapes. Which we are, of course, going to turn into a much more sensible form. Raisins. Yes. Grapes suck. Raisins rule. Get used to it. We have all these tomatoes as well. Now, I don't know that they're a production value sort of thing. 
I think they might be a straight up buy them fresh. You know, this isn't uh, this isn't one of my good buddy Old Man 102's maps where we'd have a you know a pizza factory and a ketchup plant and they'd both be fighting over our tomato crop. It, not not likely. We're probably gonna have to like you know sell them as tomatoes. All right, what else is happening here? Anything? Anything? Bueller? Uh, the honey I've already dealt with. Let's see how our friends, the Woolly Crunchies, are doing. Oopsie. There you go. Uh, ooh, almost. All right, that's coming along. You still got lots of this, lots of that. Hey there funny looking dog and now we will go bip bop boop balancing precariously upon our scooter now we've got no wood that's something we should probably do eh knock over a couple of trees I was looking up there are you admit you're still not making me any freaking did you see all the wood I brought you hello Tell me 900 something. 400? You're only not even halfway to another. Man. They must be hand carving elaborate detailing into the panels or something, you know? It's gotta be something. Because I'll tell you, they're all about a week away from looking for other work. Um. <laughs> wonderful, huh? Yeah, that species. Glad he's my boss. Fine fella, fine fella, I tell ya. Alright. <sighs> See, problem is, there isn't nearly as many bushes, or trees on the property that bother me as there are bushes. You know, most of the trees, I really kind of like where they are. Eh. What we got going on back here? This is kind of smaller stuff, isn't it? Whoop. Don't want to leave that running. Just because you just bought a whole tank of diesel, don't mean I'm anxious to spit it all out. Never to be seen again. Really? Come on. There you are. No. There we go. Uh, I think we can grab this piece. Right? Sure. It's just a little, sp a little sprout of a branch. Well, this ain't the easiest place to move around. Oh, here we go. Away. Here we go. Sure. Oh. Didn't quite get it. There we go. Alright. And up you go. Actually. Seeing as you're such a bent up bit of stuff. Still got one wee sprout there off to the side. Uh, we don't care, do we? No. Alright. Obviously not the... Uh, 
What are you doing? Come here. End all and be all of log supplies, but it's kind of an annoying bit of wood, so we will, uh, like that's just not particularly where I want new copses of trees coming in. So we'll, uh, we'll gather them up. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Again, the bushes are far more of an annoyance than any of the trees were. Alright, let's back your rodeo on out of here. Don't hit the beehive. There you go. No? What are you doing? Ooh. There we go. Let's get something that's got a little bit of uh, sauce to it, shall we? Ying. Yes. And stump no more. Nice. just a bush? I'll bet it is, isn't it? No, I can see it attached to the freaking tree, man. Well, what the heck? I guess it is a bush. Alright. convinced. No, I'm still not convinced. <laughs> Come on, then. Alright. Where's the end of it? Right there? Okay. Should be about right. Oh no.
Don't do it. Come on, where's the straps? There we go. Okay. Let's go put the uh, lumber mill back in business, shall we? Suppose those are kind of annoying, but I, I wouldn't mind if they got to be big trees. I'd kind of rather cut them down when they were big. <laughs> Oops. All right. Everybody hanging in there? Yeah, doing good. Hang right on. So I imagine it probably takes a better part of at least a year or two for poplars to grow. I could only imagine trees much more. Especially nice big uh, cedar and fir and stuff like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll get a little closer before I release the bands. It could get messy. And... Sure. Here we go. Nice. Alright. At the moment, a thousand liters of wood chips, but no wood. So, there you go. Ooh, Seven thousand liters. That'll get it going. That will get it going. Nothing. 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 Really? <laughs> Alright. Well, don't you just suck. Okay, so at least the, uh, the lumber mill is back running. That's good stuff. I mean, it actually produces something. Unlike the uh, neighboring building. Alright, so we're going to go back. I'm going to uh, park up. And we're going to advance the day once more. Which will make it Junith the first. Indeed. Uh, hmm. No, I think it's fine. Our new field, I think, had pretty much everything it required, didn't I? So I'm good with that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go park up. Let's to turn the world into uh, early summer and see what we've got left to do because I have a feeling these guys will come do and that won't hurt my feelings no sir chickens are doing good I think they're up to like 800 eggs or something Must be room for this over here somewhere. Uh, yeah, there is. Right there. Oops, sorry chickens. There we go. Okay. Oh, this thing just does not turn, man. Just does not. Ugh. It's not a nice gentle corner you need to take it around. It's just a football field on wheels. Absolutely crazy, man. Okay. 
But she do haul a lot of uh, packages of planks. So. In that regard, who can complain? Okay. Hopefully, uh, we'll be looking at renting, leasing, buying a harvester. It'll belong to the bank, but then heck, just about everything else we have does too. Indeed. Eight o'clock? Eh. June? I'm thinking, yeah, seven should do. Seven should do. Yeah, I'm glad I returned that sprayer. It's $600 a day. It's about to jump 20 days. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean I'm broke? I should have $12,000. I did what? June of the first. Oh, look. I see golden wheat a waving. Well, barley, you know. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Ready to harvest. <laughs> it is the day of days. Hi, honey, I'm home. Oh, you're not. Okay. So, barley? Barley. And just for something completely different. Dang. Who made this? It's huge. I pity the bugger's gotta do that cornfield over there. Looks a lot bigger full of barley, don't it? And Oh, looks like maybe the last field isn't quite barleyed. Hmm. Well, it's all right. I'll bet you by the time we get all of that down, we'll be darn glad of a day in between. Yeah, that's really close. Okay. How are we doing time-wise? We are at 22 minutes. Yeah, we got time to at least uh, have a look at our options here, shall we? Now... <clears throat> What have we got? 129 for that top liner. And what do you get for a uh, 6 meter header? Yeah, that's, I mean, we built all those fields on 6 meter gear. You know, same thing, you get a 6 meter of that and a 6 meter of that. Okay, well, that's not bad. I mean, 30 grand for a header is enough to make me stick my finger down my throat, but, uh, you know, you, on the other hand, get a 5 meter and a 3.4 meter. Okay, what have we got in the didn't come with the game section? We've got you at 70k. That's a darn good price for a class. We'll also check the used goodies, of course. Um... What sort of harvesting gear do you got? 5.1 meter and you don't do corn or sunflowers. Mm. Okay, then we got a bunch of these bison gigants. Ooh. A TX32. I've had a few of those. I have, I have. You come with a 4 meter header. Whoa. Alright. The biggest one of those is, I guess, this guy, the Z83. And it comes with a 5.2 meter header, no corn header. So, that kind of takes me back to going, hmm, I kind of like the dude's top liner. 130k. Plus another, oh. I thought it had a corn thing. Oh, it does. Okay. So, 160. Just to get it home, eh? Hmm. Uh -huh. It's a lot of money. Oh. What if we wanted to lease it? Okay, uh, lease, it's 6,600 bucks for the lease of the harvester, that's not bad, okay, 
Um... For about, oh, it's not bad. For less than eight grand, we could lease the thing and do the job. So, yeah, we're gonna lease that. Okay, let's go back. Back. And let's lease this guy. Here it is. Well, we'll see how she runs, and if we like it, we'll probably buy it. That will pretty much complete our uh, arsenal of uh, equipment. Well, we've got still a little bit of orchard stuff to deal with and that sort of thing. I don't blame them not letting me hook that one up. That's six meters, is it? No, oh, I guess it's just because the actual kit is so big, eh? There we go. Let's jump in. Nice. It's got a pretty decent interior, eh? I like that. Got the whole bumblebee dashboard going on. All right, let's take our, yeah, I know, drive it like you leased it. Woohoo, <laughs> let's get her home. 20 kph, this ain't gonna be the fastest trip we've ever made. That's all right. Ooh, we might actually need this for two days if that other field isn't ready. Well, either way. I said if it works out, we may end up buying it anyway, so we can return it at the end of today, and then if we need it again, we might go, well, we can buy it or we can lease it. And we'll probably buy it. Which again brings me to the headache that I don't have near enough shedage on our property. So, I think what we might have to do is go back to back on one or two of those big ones. Like pop another one directly on the back of it. Facing the opposite way and then just put a little uh, T-junction at the side of it. And, uh, you know, call it a day. Not sure how close they'll let us get it. Come on, don't start lagging out on me now. Oh man. It's really not far away, is it? <laughs> Never seemed like that big a deal just getting to the uh, lumber yard before. Oh, I can see the crop. <laughs> we burned here. 30 liters of diesel. <laughs> Start down with a little bit of kit, eh? It's these little springs and latches and hinges and pins and levers and oh my god, I'm driving over things. Doesn't look as big from up here. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna want lots and lots and lots of straw. Okay? I 
Alright. The first harvest on our new farm. This is why I put all that barley in. <laughs> Okie dokie. They'll let you hook it up from in there, but they won't let you do that stuff. Yeah, now she lights up. Alright, let's uh, pick ourselves a pattern, shall we? At least it doesn't have it. Okay then. Oh, wait a minute. Are we making straw? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Go, go, go. Hey, I've had way worse turning ratio, so that's not bad. Okay. Yeah, I think we're probably just going to uh, suck it up and buy this thing. It's too bad they don't just allow it to, like, continue from the end of your lease, you know what I mean? Take that amount of money off. But we never did check to see if there was uh, used ones, did we? So uh, when we get to the end of the row here, we'll quickly pop in and look at the used market. See if they've got anything. Nope. That's a good price on that. 24 bale. So it's a good big one. But we already got one. Now I can't see any real practical reason to get a baler, we have a decent sized forage wagon that'll certainly take care of our straw. And I'm pretty sure that we can load the straw into the, uh, barn over there. What are we doing? 33% or a third full on three rows. Not bad. Chickens are all excited seeing all the grain being harvested. Hey, ladies. Yes. Through the chicken coop. <laughs> A quick flyby of the hens. I know that our cereal plant, or whatever the heck it's called, it won't use barley. 
which is probably a good thing. I don't know that I'd want cakes and stuff like that that were made with barley flour. It's a little bit, a little heavy, shall we say, for that kind of use, taste-wise. I mean, I love barley, but not necessarily as a flour. I don't use a lot of flour. The flour I do buy and use is something called Brodie's. It's, uh, it's actually made by Robin Hood, a very popular flour company in this part of the world. But yeah, it's called Brodie's. It's uh, SRS, self rising. So. Which basically means, I believe, that it has baking powder in it. Not much more than that. But it's great for making uh, banana bread, zucchini bread, that sort of thing. Um, and my favorite that I make all the time, date bread. So, yeah, that's... Uh, I make date bread with chocolate chips. That's sort of my spoil me dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, that rock's going to become a little bit bothersome. I wonder if they sell dynamite down the local store there. I'll have to go ask that fine young lady <laughs> the next time I'm in the neighborhood. Oh, that would freak her out so bad. Poor thing. Sneaks off to the bathroom to have a little sick every time you come into the building. Uh, doesn't really put out that much of a big hump at the end like we used to get in 19, eh? Remember? You could barely drive over it with a tractor. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do for this last couple of rows... Well, actually I should be able to get this one. And that should work out all right. Because then we'll be coming back. I was going to just go to the other end of the field and do the last couple of rows both up in this direction. But I think if I can get this thing turned around. Beautiful. That's what I thought. I should be able to just come in and scoop it up. There we are. Get straightened out in time to have a decent row, and we're good. Whoa! Look at that. We're full. Um, I need to be somewhere I can actually get a trailer. Here, I'll tell you what. We'll just do this. There we go. Here you are, luck of the draw, you're up. Yeah, I definitely gotta think of some more sheds here or something in the near future.
Why are you not? Well, there you go, finally. There we are. And I tell you, <laughs> that manual attach mod has just never been my friend. But you'll notice that uh, as soon as it's ready, I do, of course, immediately lo <laughs> load it into my game. Oh, uh, well. Alright, let's get this unloaded, and then I think I'm going to call it an episode, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can be looking in front of you, dude. There you go. It doesn't have a very high pipe. I'm not saying that's why I ran into it. I'm just making a an observation. Oh, I guess it is. It didn't look very high from inside that cab. Hmm. Ooh, look at it come rolling in. Barley, barley, barley. Fields and fields of barley. Oh, not bad. 8,500 liters that thing holds. Oh, well, that's why it was so close. That was darn close to the roof of the cab, man. Well, 45%. We can do it again. Not that we're going to get that much, so... But that's a beautiful thing. We can just carry that on to the next field, man. And we're off. Pipe in. Didn't leave a very big gap either. This thing really starts spitting the straw out right away. And then it likes to really get all of it out. Oh, I'm impressed. It's not a bad little unit. I think we'll definitely have to uh, see what we can talk old Smokey out of there, shall we? There we go. And last bit. Last wee bit. So tomorrow, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to finally get along to that uh, project on my scooter. Putting that new, really potent battery pack thing together there. and Getting her ready. Something I'm a little nervous at, because whenever you flash the... Uh, firmware on something, you do take that chance that there's some little error that ends up bricking the entire unit. <laughs> and that, my friends, is the first field. Oh, I guess I don't really need to dump this out, do I? We have, uh, like I said, another one right there. But we're also 40 minutes in now. So I'm going to call the episode there. Do hope everybody enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. It helps out a bunch. And next time around, we'll uh, carry on carrying on. All right. Take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now. <laughs>